Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Paranormal News. Tonight's article comes from Belfast Telegraph, and the headline is Jack Osborne on his most frightening paranormal experience. The TV star is hosting a new series called Fright Club, featuring clips that claim to show supernatural activity, which the team then discuss. It's written by Carrie Ann Roper, uh, the PA Entertainment Editor, and it was published on February 17th, 2021. Jack Osborne has said his most frightening out of the ordinary experience was seeing a shadow figure at the end of his bed. The TV star who is hosting a new series called Fright Club said the incident had freaked him out. The 35 year old told the PA news agency, I don't know if something followed me home or if something like just doing what I do and exposing myself to, you know, these alleged haunted locations as much as I have, if it like opened me up somehow. But I started having some weird things happen at home that really freaked me out. It was just like waking up in the middle of the night and seeing like a shadow figure at the end of my bed. Because I always like to think like when I'm home, it's my safe space. This dude says like a lot. And yeah, it was actually very early on in COVID that this was happening. And it definitely freaked me out. Fright Club, currently streaming on Discovery Plus, sees him and the Ghost Brothers, Dalen Spratt, Marcus Harvey, and Juwan Mass, show each other footage in a bid to find the most mind-blowing supernatural footage they can. Osborne, son of rocker Ozzy, and TV personality Sharon, has filmed previous series like the Osbournes Want to Believe with his parents in a bid to convince them that paranormal activity is real. He said, I don't know if they're fully convinced, but I have definitely planted seeds. My dad now will anytime there's like a news article about something in the paranormal, or if he finds something online, he sends it to me. And my mom, when I speak to her on the phone, She's like, oh, I heard this today about, you know, UFOs or read a story about a ghost. So it's definitely planted seeds. He said Fright Club has also made him want to delve more deeply into the Bigfoot phenomenon. Bigfoot, sometimes referred to as Sasquatch, is a folklore figure with people claiming to have footage or have seen the large human-like creature covered in hair. Osborne said, from doing Fright Club, I went into that show being like the biggest Bigfoot naysayer. And I was always like, that's a joke. Like, come on. I just always thought Bigfoot was like a dude in a costume, screwing around with his friends. And then as things have progressed and watching all these clips from the Fright Club, it got me thinking. I'm like, you know what? There's something to this. He added, the clips that I've seen, some of them can be explained away, sure. But there are some where I'm like, well, what the hell was that? That's not a bear. That's not a giant mountain lion. It's not a human because if it's a human, it's the largest human I've ever seen. It's like as if an NBA player decided to put on a Chewbacca costume and go for a walk in the woods. I don't think that's going to happen very often. It says Fright Club is streaming exclusively on Discovery Plus. And that is the end of this article. One thing I'd like to say in the beginning of this is you have to be super, super careful. And I've touched on this on several episodes of Staring into the Abyss, and I've talked about it in other videos. You have to be extraordinarily careful when you're going to these locations and you're messing with these things. When you're trying to communicate with some sort of entity, you don't know for sure what it is. You don't know if it's a ghost, if it's a demonic entity, what it could be that you're trying to talk to. You have to be very careful to, to, to say certain prayers to protect yourself and to make sure that nothing attaches to you and nothing follows you home. In this article, uh, Jack was talking about that he believes a shadow person has followed him home because he's seen a shadow person at the end of his bed. That's why I always stress 
when we talk about these kind of things on the show, I always stress that if you don't really know what you're doing and you're just interested, right? If you want to go and you want to do some ghost investigations and you want to, to see what's out there and, and see, see it for yourself, make sure you're with somebody who knows what they're doing, who does this a lot. Make sure you're with somebody who understands how to keep things from attaching to you and following you home because that will happen. And just because Jack is a celebrity and son of an absolute legend, Ozzy, the man. I went and saw Ozzy in concert. He was unbelievable. That's a long time ago, different story. Maybe I'll tell it sometime. But just because he is Jack Osborne does not mean that he is immune to this. It does not mean that he's somehow safe and that these things aren't going to follow him home and really screw up his life. So he's got to be so, so careful. Now, I'm not trying to imply here that Jack Osborne does not know what he's doing. I have no idea. Uh, I would say that the proof is kind of in the pudding, right? If he's got something that followed him home and is terrorizing him or whatever, then that would mean that he didn't understand or know how to do the prayers to keep it from following him home. That kind of gives you some, some evidence right there that you can go with. But I'm not trying to disparage Jack Osborne. I love Jack Osborne. I think he's freaking awesome. I think he's awesome. I think Kelly's awesome. I love Sharon, and I absolutely love Ozzy. Ozzy is the man. And he is incredibly, incredibly kind as well. I actually got to meet Ozzy. I went backstage at the concert I went to. And he is a generous and wonderful man. So I'm not saying anything bad about anybody in that family. As far as I'm concerned, I love them all. All I would say is please be careful if you're going to go do something like this. The other thing I like to talk about is Bigfoot. It is really cool that now Jack thinks that Bigfoot is a real thing, where before he thought it wasn't. Uh, that's usually the way it works, is people generally look at Bigfoot and laugh, and they're skeptical. They're like, eh, probably not a real dude. Probably either a person in a costume, or it's just a hoax, or maybe it's some other animal you're, you're misidentifying. That's what people usually think. Now, they think that until... They had their first experience. Now, I've seen Bigfoot myself up close and personal. I chased him because I saw him up at the barn. I told, that, uh, I told that story many times on a couple different episodes of Staring into the Abyss. So go find any of the episodes we did on Bigfoot for Staring, and you can hear that entire story of my encounter with Bigfoot. So I know Bigfoot is real. And Bigfoot is very large and can move, man. That dude can run. So I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, Bigfoot exists. But before I saw Bigfoot, I always thought Bigfoot could exist, but I wasn't sure. It was one of those deals where I was like, eh, I, I don't think that all these people are faking it. Because, I mean, there's hundreds of thousands of, of witnesses and sightings and, and all that kind of stuff. There's footprints, there's hair samples, there's all kinds of stuff. So I don't think they could have been all of them faking but in the same token, I had never seen one, so I hadn't made up my mind. When I saw one, that changed everything. And I think that's the way it works with a lot of people, is once they actually see a Bigfoot, it changes their entire world. Now, some people, they see a Bigfoot and they never go in the woods again because it scares them that badly. Because Bigfoot is not this gentle, loving thing like on Harry and the Hendersons. That, it is an intense, intense situation. I mean, it's scary when you see one of these things because they are gigantic. Other people, when they see it, they dedicate their life to trying to find it and prove that it's real. I'm kind of more in that camp than the never going to woods again camp because I go into woods all the time. Uh, Bigfoot didn't scare me. I had a, a healthy respect for Bigfoot when I saw him because he was gigantic. And I said earlier, I chased Bigfoot he was up by my barn and I went running towards him. It was at night and I wasn't running towards him in some macho way. Like I'm going to kick your butt because at first I didn't particularly know for sure what it was. I just knew something big was up there and my wife was getting ready to come home from work and I didn't want her to get hurt. So that's why I charged it to run it off. Cause it was a bear or something. It would take off when I ran at it, making all kinds of noise. Uh, but this thing, when it ran away, it ran on two legs, not on four. And it ran like a man, but it had gigantic strides. And I went over and I measured where it was standing because his head was right underneath the branch. 
And I measured that the next morning, and it was just under 12 feet. So nothing else matches that that I can think of. But I wasn't running at Bigfoot like, yeah, I'm going to whoop your butt. You know, I was trying to scare off whatever it was so that it wouldn't get my wife when she came home from work. That was the, the general idea. So anyway, I've blabbed way too long on this. I hope you guys enjoyed this article. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. What do you think of Jack Osborne? What do you think of the idea that, that things can follow you home from investigations? Because I know for sure that's true. But let's see what you guys think about it. And also, what do you think about Bigfoot? I happen to really, really love Bigfoot. I think Bigfoot is a fascinating subject. And I think that sooner or later it will be proven that Bigfoot is indeed a biological creature. I don't think it's anything supernatural or scary. I think it's, I think it's Gigantopithecus is what I think it is. But the theories are out there. So whatever you guys want to think, let me know down in the comments. And as always, thank you for tuning in and watching. I appreciate you. And I will catch you on the next one until I speak to you again. Love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.